Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Mai and Jay and today what I got here is another unboxing and this time for the first time I got this device from pandaworld.com and this is going to be the THL L969. Supposedly this device is supposed to support LTE but I think it's not going to be here in the USA. It is a very economical device and I also got a Dodgy DG310 which is another uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 replica, but it's not a 1-1 replica. Again, it's very affordable. I believe it goes for about $89.99. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right at it and open the package. So as you can see, I chose DHL also because again, it is the best method here for the USA. I got it very fast. I got it within five days, I believe, or six days. And Panda Will is a very well-known seller around the world. And they do accept PayPal for those who are interested on PayPal. Payments, you know that DHK does not accept PayPal, but this is one of those sellers that do. So here we can see that the device is very well packed. It comes with this cardboard box and also yellow tape around it. So I think it opens here from the very top. Let's see if we can actually get it open here easily without damaging the package. And the package is actually quite humongous. As we can notice right here, it's about the size of a size 10 shoe box. And here we can see already a lot of bubble wrap inside of the package. And here we have both of the boxes. We can see they come together. So let's see if we can take it out of this bubble wrap. And here we can see we have the Dodgy DG310 Voyager 2. And I'll be doing a separate unboxing of this device very soon. So please make sure you guys stay tuned. So let's put this aside for now. So talking about the box here in the very front, we have the THL Smart logo. On the side, it's gonna be plain. On this side, it's gonna have a barcode, another barcode. And then on this side, it's gonna be plain. We can see here at the very bottom, we're gonna have the specification. We have the LTE logo. This is a 4G LTE device, but not here for the USA. This is going to support LTE in Europe. Also, we can see here, we had the WCDMA 850 and 2100 for AT&T, and it does support the 1900 for T-Mobile as well. So we're gonna get a 3G network on AT&T and T-Mobile here in the USA. It is a quad-core processor clock at 1.3 gigahertz. It does have a five inch FWVGA screen. And it is an IPS screen on viewing angles, gonna have great colors. And here we can see the camera, it's a five megapixel camera with a 0.3 megapixel front facing camera, which is kind of poor, but we gotta see what's going to be the recorded quality. And also we can see here the connectivity uh, information and other functions supported on this device. So now we're gonna go ahead and check here the contents inside of the package. And here we have the device itself. We're gonna put this aside for now. And then inside is where we're gonna have the screen protector, as we can see right here. And this is great for those who buy here in the USA. Accessories are very limited. So what we get them is definitely a plus. Here we have also the manuals, and this is the uh, quick start guide, basically giving you information on how to power on the device and how to set it up and whatnot. And here we have a case. Now this is very interesting because I wasn't expecting this, and this is a smart case as we can notice right here. We have the front window on the back. We have all the um, holes for the speaker, the camera, and whatnot. So I'm gonna test this on the review and let you guys know whether or not it works. We also have here the micro USB cable. We have the European wall charger. We also have here the earphones and there's nothing else inside of the box. So let's go ahead and put all this aside and see how the device performs. Okay, so let's get back to the device and here we can see it is protected all the way around. It comes already pre-installed with a screen protector here in the front. So let's go ahead and remove this front part as of right now. Now here in the very front is where we're gonna find the five inch multi touch screen with a resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. On the front here is where we're gonna have the ear speaker. We also have the front facing camera, which is a 0.3 megapixels, the proximity and light sensor, and a notification LED somewhere here on the left side. At the very bottom, you're gonna see the menu key, the home key, and also the back key. On the left side of the device, it's gonna be plain, no buttons whatsoever. At the very bottom, you're just gonna have the microphone. On the right, we're gonna have the power button together with the volume rockers up and down. On the very top, you're gonna have the charging slash data port together with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back, we're gonna have the 5 megapixel camera, the LED, the THA logo, and then here at the very bottom, it's gonna say technology, happy life. You can see here we have the loudspeaker. It feels like plastic on the back and it's kind of rubberish and it feels good in your hand, so that's great. And you can actually grab the device with one hand and not having that feeling that the device is gonna fall off your hands. Now here from the very back, we can see that this device is only a single SIM, single standby phone. And we have here the TF card slot as well. And then the battery is gonna be 2700 milliamps as we can see right here. And it comes covered with this tape protecting it from the power source on the phone. Now here in the very back, we can see we have two IMEIs, but again, I only see one SIM card slot. So I gotta 
go through that on the review video and tell you guys whether or not this is going to be a dual SIM dual standby device. So maybe we can fit two regular size SIM cards on the slot, one on the top and one at the bottom. So that's great, let's go ahead and install the battery and see if we do have any juice on this device. And here we can see the THL logo and on viewing angles it does have very nice colors and they're very vivid as well as we can notice right here. So I'm actually very excited, maybe I get lucky and this device will support LTE here in the USA but again I'm not 100% certain about that. Here we can see the operating system, again this is running the Android 4.4.2, it does have 1 gigabyte of RAM and 8 gigabytes of internal memory. So let's go ahead and confirm that here, we can see that it is running some sort of a MIUI launcher. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and go to settings here and confirm all the way to the bottom. We go to about device and we can see that yes, this is running the Android KitKat. And if you tap on it, you can see that yes, it is confirming the Android 4.4.2. And if you tap on it one more time, it's giving us um, also the confirmation here. We can see that yes, it does have the Android KitKat. So that's definitely great. Now the resolution, I can tell that it looks a little bit poor. I mean, it's not gonna give you the best resolution out there, but at least it's going to do its job. We can also notice here that it does come with the Play Store and also some other Google applications uh, like Gmail. We also have uh, Hangouts. We also have the YouTube application down here, so that's great. You don't have to root the device to get this installed. And the reason I say root it is because sometimes I prefer to install these applications inside of the system. That way, if you reset the device, you don't have to reinstall them again. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'll be coming with a review very soon. So if you guys do have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.